Welcome to Vlogmas, is it day five? I think it's day five. I woke up this morning, it's snowing outside and I was like, oh, is it winter? Is it that cold? Um, so yeah, it's still snowing a little bit, but I wasn't gonna start this video for a little while, but um, I've opened my calendar and I've had having my coffee. I literally sit here, there's my coffee, oh yeah, there, and I watch a video on here, YouTube and the door well the postman knocked on the window because i had the gate locked um because i hadn't opened it yet because it's quite early and i got an amazon parcel and can i just show you the amount of packaging that has just arrived for one small little tiny glue so i stick on my own nails oh yeah i used that to open the package <laughs> um so i stick on my own nails and I obviously need glue for that and this is the best glue that I found in terms of like strength and like making the nails actually stay on and this tiny little thing came in this entire box with all of this packaging and I was like surely not like can you see that like that does not need all of this that's cr that's crazy that's blown my mind like last time it arrived it came in a big box but not like half the size of that and i was still like that could literally be in the tiniest little thing couldn't it but i suppose it's amazon isn't it um so yeah i know there's a lot of things about people saying like oh we shouldn't order from amazon at the minute um because of wanting to support small businesses but that's a nail glue <laughs> so i just picked that up but yeah um, and a few other little bits as well to be fair, but I am going to do a video, I'm going to try and film it next week uh, where I post a video where it's literally all about supporting small businesses and promoting um, like products from small businesses and what you can get for Christmas from a small business just so that I can like help to support that as well. So I'll probably put something on my Instagram where I discuss that so that people are able to like, I don't know respond to that and suggest some small businesses but i just wanted to pick up the camera just to say how blown away i was by that that's crazy um but yeah so i'm gonna carry on drinking my coffee and then i've got a few i'll do a little beauty haul later on of a few things that i picked up but apart from that i'm just gonna crack on with a few things look at the snow oh my god yeah did i mention it was snowing oh my god oh yeah i did think i did mention it but yeah look that's so cool so i'm just i know you can't see my face i'm just adding in some sample pot into a glass a clean glass don't worry and i'm gonna do a competition so see who can guess how many sample pots are in here and they will get win three samples of my um so they'll win a sample of my mask my cleansing balm and also my moisturizer so if you want to get involved with competitions or anything to do with my um, skincare business, then just head over to the links in the description. So my Facebook page and my Instagram. Today's little thing is to guess how many sample pots is in this jar to win that. I don't know how many's in it yet, but I'll count it up later. It's funny how my bun is literally like hanging off, but we're not going anywhere today so it's okay basically i have done a workout i tidied up i've done my laundry and i had my protein shake whilst i did my makeup so i've done my makeup now and got nowhere to go but i just wanted to do it because i bought some beauty products off amazon and i just, you know when you just buy something new and you just want to use it i didn't do my makeup yesterday and if i don't oh my god oh my god sorry i genuinely was just scared then right i have two teddies in front of me that look like this i then glanced over and saw this one staring at me and look how creepy <laughs> doesn't that look creepy that does look compared to them too he looks well creepy i'm well scared i'm just gonna turn him around like literally that just just scared me so much right anyway so i don't know what i was saying but i got a few things off of amazon and i thought i would just show you that in this little clip right now i know the quality is not the greatest don't know if it's in focus or anything but 
here we are. So the first thing that I got was a backup product. All of these pretty much are backup products of things that I've already got. This is a new one of the collection Lasting Perfection Concealer, the 16 hour wear one. And I think I got mine, yeah, I got mine in the shade Rose Porcelain Number no. 1. So quite pale. And I got a backup of this one, which is the one that I'm using at the minute. I'm just using this up. And I've just looked and this one says that it's in the shade Fair Number no. 5. So they look almost exactly the same shade but obviously this one's five shades lighter so we'll see how that goes um but i'm sure it'll be fine i only use it under my eyes and like on my nose for brightening anyway but yeah i've got a backup of one of those because that's a really good full coverage concealer would definitely recommend if you like full coverage makeup or get like your skin toned shade for spots and things and it'll be really good at concealing spots I don't tend to conceal spots because I don't need to. A, I'm wearing a full coverage foundation today and B, my skin's been a lot better recently anyway. Then I've got two backups of again products I have already got. Usually what I do is I like to try new things, especially when it comes to makeup and skincare. You know, I've got my core products that I know are good and I stick to, for example, foundations I tend to stick to, the good ones that I know and I trust don't really like to venture out of that but when it comes to bronzers and blushes and things like that like I think oh I'll just try something new it doesn't really matter you know you can't go too wrong but when we're talking about money I don't want to spend too much money so I did get just backups of what I've had before these are literally the cheapest things you can find on Amazon so I got the collection pressed powder I think this was one pound something when it comes to powder I don't understand like people that pay like 30 plus pounds for a powder like i've got one here for one pound something i have oily skin my skin does not get oily throughout the day when i use this powder so you don't need to get like really expensive powders and also it's all about your foundation mainly you need to make sure that your foundation is good for your skin type so if your skin's getting really oily throughout the day think what skincare am i using am i using something too hydrating and too oily in the morning or is my foundation more dewy? So go for one that's more of a matte one. This one is really good. I'll share with you in a second a couple of foundations that are good for oily skin. But yeah, I did pick that up. It's a good powder and I like it. And it's in the shade number 18 ivory. It was looking like this. Look how much that got down to. <laughs> Let's put that in an empties. Probably do an empties video in January. Then I picked up another one of these bronzers. This is the collection. Oh, they're both from the collection. This is the collection Bronze Glow Matte Bronzer in the shade number one Terracotta. I did that on my face today. You can kind of see a little bit of a bronze. Maybe I put a bit too much on. I don't know. But I really like this bronzer. It's nice and cheap. I think it was £2 something. And I just like it. It's cheap and it's good. And it matches my skin like type. And I like it. I'm here for the cheap products that work. That's what I'm here for. So yeah, and that was looking like that. So I could get more product out of this, but I'll just, you know, I'm sure it's not too much to waste. So I picked up that. And then finally, I got this foundation. So this is the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. And I got mine in the shade 21 Nude Beige which is quite a good match for me especially if i have a little bit of fake tan on which i haven't done in quite a while so i can't stop looking at my hair anyway so i haven't used this foundation in a couple of well actually quite a long time i probably haven't used this in a year because i've really found a really good foundation which is the wet and wild photo focus foundation this is what it looks like i get mine in the shade soft beige and i did run out of this one this one is like pretty much ran out if i'm honest and the reason why I kind of um, started buying these instead of the Maybelline one, because I used to be addicted to that Maybelline one, is because this one is only five pounds something. Again, cheap, we're here for cheap products. And also it's not full coverage. So because my skin was a lot better in terms of being clear, I have a good routine, then this was a great foundation for me because it wasn't full coverage. I didn't need that coverage and I liked how it looked on the skin. It is a good one for oily skin. I do have to say that. They do have though a hydro a more dewy one. So there's two foundations. There's this one and then there's the one that's dewy. So the version of this one that's dewy. So there is something for everybody from Wet n Wild. But 
I, you know, when you just kind of get your skin just gets used to the foundation. I kind of speak about this when I apply the foundation in a second and you'll see it. But yeah, my skin just kind of got used to the photo focus one. So now I've moved on to this one for a little while and it used to be such a favorite and I think it's gonna become a favorite for a while because I haven't had like really full coverage foundation in a while and it's quite nice to have nice full coverage foundation because it's like a blank canvas and then you can just build upon it. So yeah, I really like this and if after I finish using this, I'm just like craving a foundation that's just not as full coverage, then I'll go back to this one. But this is what I say about core products that you know work. When it comes to foundations, I don't like, I don't stray away from them. I will stick to my two favorites, which is these two, because if you know something works, then why do you need to buy something new? Do you know what I mean? I only like to kind of switch things up if I'm not so bothered about products or if, you know, the products that I'm currently using aren't doing what I want them to do. But these two are great. So I would recommend these if you've got oily skin, because this one especially, is really good for oily skin. Any shine that you can see on my face is from highlighters. So yeah, that is my little kind of mini beauty haul from Amazon. So now I'm gonna show a video of me applying the foundation because I thought that it might be interesting to see me applying it. I don't know, I just filmed it anyway. So I'll show you that now. Okay, so I'm just doing my makeup. This is where I sit to do my makeup. I'm watching James Charles on my phone whilst I do my makeup. I've done a workout and i've tidied up i've done some laundry some washing and yeah i decided i wanted to do my makeup today i'm not going anywhere or doing anything but i've got a few beauty things which you should have already seen i can hear a car it's royal mail so if we hear a knock on the door it's for me hopefully i'm not halfway through my makeup um but i wanted to do a little kind of beauty haul type thing of like just four items that i bought one of the items was the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation. So I'm now just gonna use it. You should have seen me do um, a little haul. I'm just gonna use the foundation and I'm gonna take ooh, a little kind of pump on the back of my hand. I really don't know how much I need. And this is not a makeup tutorial. I do have a makeup tutorial coming next week, I think. So stick around for that. This is not a tutorial. This is just me using an old foundation and seeing how I like it in comparison to my Wet n Wild one. Because I used to love this one, like this was my favourite one for years. I've got through like five or six bottles of this. So it is a really good one, but I think it's just quite like, not cakey, but it's really full coverage. And because my skin has been a lot better this past year, because I've got like a good skincare routine and I use um, face masks like my own face mask that you know is there to clear your skin I've not had as many spots or anything so I haven't really needed any coverage but I don't like the feeling of kind of getting used to a foundation you know when you use a foundation and you keep buying the same one I don't know if this is anyone else but I think I think it is true your skin kind of gets used to it or at least my brain gets used to it and I don't know like it's not the same do you, do you know what I mean so I'm just gonna use this one for a couple of months and then go back to my wet and wild one or if I really like this one I'll just stick to this one but yeah as you can see that literally covers so good with the wet and wild one sometimes I have to go in with like a little bit more but with this one it just covers all over so if you are looking for a really full coverage foundation then go for this one Right, and then I'm gonna pop on a little bit of concealer. I'm just gonna use my collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. I'm not gonna film my entire makeup routine, but these are the things that I picked up, even though this is my old one, so this is not the new one I bought. This is my one that's running out. So I'm obviously gonna wait till it runs out. But yeah, you don't need much of this. I mainly use this concealer for brightening anyway, because it's a lot lighter than my foundation. So I like it for that. But yeah, you don't need to see the rest. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy with that. And I'll probably update you throughout the day. Um, but yeah, I just fancied a little change. Hello. So I've basically been doing my assignment. Can you see where I poke myself in the eye? <laughs> oh my God, you actually can. Yeah, I poked myself in the eye like 
five minutes ago um not not badly um but i'm just doing my assignment it's during on monday it's a management accounting assignment for uni i do accounting and finance due in on monday so i'm doing it now i do i'm not the kind of person like although i'm extremely organized i'm not the kind of person that will start the assignment a month before and then have it all ready and prepared or put loads of effort in for a month because i just can't do that like for the whole month i am learning that's what i say i'm learning the information so that like a week before or a few days before i then just whack it out and i spend a solid you know good four days on it i don't do a little bit each night i will do it properly and my reasoning for that is because if i did a little bit each night every single day my brain's thinking differently so it wouldn't flow that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying so for the like the next few days i'll just whack it out and put full focus into it motivation is higher before it's due in because i've got to do it and i know i've got to do it so that's my thinking around this and it works <laughs> don't know if i get a good grade but i still manage to produce something what i hate about assignments is references oh my god i just cannot stand it honestly like obviously i understand that you have to reference your work but i just i just hate the whole process of referencing because sometimes when you get things they don't have you know you have to find like the publisher or date of publication or whatever i don't know but i'm just like where do you find this information i don't know like some sites don't even show that information so it's just so annoying and most of the time my references are really bad anyway but as long as i produce something and it's within the word count then i'm happy um so i'll let you know how i do on this in like next year so um because i think i'll get the feedback for this next year but yeah i'm doing that right now and my plan i'm looking at my to-do list which is over there also can you see my pencil case my pencil case is a little dog <laughs> um but yeah on my to-do list i have got hoover and clean the floor i'm gonna hoover downstairs i've hoovered upstairs the other day but i'm gonna hoover down here and i'm gonna clean the floor with like a mop and um, for a bit now actually then i'm gonna plan my videos that i want to film on the weekend tomorrow i'm gonna film some videos scheduled for next week the videos that i'm filming tomorrow are gonna be sit down videos or like a baking video i think so on monday i will let you know what content is coming for the rest of the week but for now it's all a secret um but i also i've got that to do i'm just gonna chill for a bit and then i'm gonna have a cup of tea so it's full productivity then we get a cup of tea watch some youtube then back to the assignment again and then i like to have my evenings free so i probably won't carry this vlog on for too long because there's not an, a load to film but yeah i'm just rambling because i'm just procrastinating not doing this so See you later. Look how cute he is. Stanley. Stanley. He's so cute, oh my god. I don't know why he's decided to sleep in his tubes though. That's what Dean used to do as well, my previous hamster. I don't know why, but maybe it's fun. Um, <laughs> Who knows? Um, but it just means I have to clean his tube out extra more because sometimes he pees in it as well. So that's nice. But I've literally just spent the past two hours doing my assignment, planning my videos for the week, the ones that I'm going to be filming, and pre the ones that I'm going to be pre filming. And I don't know. I've been, people have been messaging me on Instagram because I told people to give me small businesses so that I could do a video about small businesses um for a gift guide and i've been replying to them because i've had quite a lot of messages from people about that so i've been messaging them and the companies or the businesses that they recommended i've then messaged them to check that they're okay with that which i'm sure they're fine with that but um i just thought i'd ask sorry i'm just getting my slippers on and i can't be bothered to wait sorry oh now you can see my room <laughs> i'm gonna hoover in here however I'm gonna wake Stanley up and I'm not too happy about that because I don't like to wake him up but it's gonna have to happen so I'm gonna hoover in here then I'm gonna clean the floor and yeah also 
Do you like this little guy? I think Steph got me this. I know she got me it, but I can't remember. Was it last year or the year before? I don't know. But this little guy, I called him Bruce. And yeah, there's a story behind this, which I won't go into because it's very long, but it involves a really strange trip to HomeSense. I think it was HomeSense. And we both picked up an animal and we were just walking around with it, pretending it was ours. I don't know, that sounds really crazy, but it happened. So yeah, oh. Oh, by the way, if you wanna follow me on Instagram, I'll link it in the description. got myself a cup of tea and I am just gonna watch some YouTube I think my brain is absolutely frazzled from staring at my laptop for so long so I thought I'll do some hoovering then I'll make a cup of tea then I'll crack on with some more tasks and probably do a little bit more of my assignment before I go to sleep I've got to edit this video to get it up in the morning and yeah it's quite busy it's quite busy um but i don't think there's too much more for me to film today I, i'm just thinking is there anything else that i would actually film because the only reason why i tend to end these vlogs a little bit shorter is just so that i can actually edit them and have time to edit them and post them um but yeah that's the end of this video i think i think i'll just end it here with my little cup of tea this is my afternoon tea mug so i have a mug that i use in the morning for coffee this is my afternoon one where i have a cup of tea in it and then in the evening i have my christmas mug and i have a cup of tea in that so i'm somebody that likes routine most definitely i like things to be the same every day so i feel i don't know i don't understand it but anyway i'm just gonna round this video up here so this is the end of day five i think this is day five correct me if i'm wrong but i do believe it's day five thanks for watching this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for the rest of vlogmas and tomorrow is day six tomorrow is going to be a body shop gift guide so stick around for that and then i've got some fresh new videos coming next week i've got an exciting christmasy themed vlog coming next week as well hopefully so yeah stick around and i'll see you then goodbye Side note, when I was hoovering, Stanley didn't wake up until I got right near his cage and then he woke up and he rolled over and now he's like laid on his side and he's so cute. I um, just thought I'd mention that.